Hi, it's Dwyer. It's Saturday, December 1st, 2018. Early in the morning, I'm putting way too much effort into this. Anyway, it's gamblersadvisory.com, free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Um, look us up on castbox.fm. Just in the search bar, punch in bettingangle.us and audios of these videos will pop up. Okay, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. In the background here, you see part of the dollhouse that I live in, right? All right, um, there's an interesting development. You know, I don't know, and I just want to be blunt here. I don't know who wins the uh, Adonis Stevenson Alexander Groves Dick fight today. I think this is going to be one of the toughest fights Stevenson has had in quite some time. Very tough opponent, right? And that opponent is very well trained, right? Mikey Garcia's brother, Robert Garcia, is the trainer for Groves Dick. And Groves Dick, of course, won an Olympic bronze medal and was a dominant fighter in the amateur ranks for a number of years, right? So this is a unbeaten guy who is almost 10 years younger than Donna Stevenson, right? A guy who, at least on film, looks like he has more stamina at this point than does Donna Stevenson. But keep in mind, at the end of the day, you're really not picking sides. You're picking numbers, right? You're picking risk. It's a risk-reward game when you're betting on boxing. And to my surprise, in a fight that I admit is an evenly matched fight, to my surprise, right now you can get long-time reigning light heavyweight champion Adonis Stevenson in a fight taking place in Canada in Stevenson's backyard at a plus 140. In other words, Adonis Stevenson, believe it or not, in a fight in Canada today is the underdog. Right now, I agree. That should give you some pause. You should think to yourself, wow, how could an opponent in Stevenson's backyard be the favorite. And you understand that it's fights like this that are happening on days when we have a bigger fight. Right? Tyson Fury, the lineal, against Deontay Wilder, the WBC heavyweight champion. It's fights like this in the background that the gamblers have studied and that the gamblers are ready to pounce on. My suggestion here is that you go in the other direction. If I'm going to get Adonis Stevenson at a plus 140, even at this stage of his career where he did fade in the second half of the Badu Jack fight, well, that's where I want to be. I like that risk reward. Right? As good as Grovestick is, or looks on film, Stevenson is still going to be Adonis Stevenson for at least the first six rounds of this fight. Right? I'll agree at 41, the lungs aren't quite what they were at 31 or at 21. Right? And I'll agree the guy is going to fade later in the fight. I'll agree with that 100%. But understand, this is a guy who destroyed, that's the word, Tony Bellew. This is a guy who, in his last fight, as we look at that fight and say, well, wow, Stevenson's slowing down a little bit. He still got a draw against Badu Jack, and late in that fight, when Stevenson needed one last hurrah, he got it. Right? Stevenson's beating Badu Jack after the first half of that fight. Also, the spacing. 
Grosnick has a great right hand, right? It, it's an excellent right hand, but he needs to be up close on you to land it, right? In other words, it's a straight right, but it doesn't have ring coverage, right? He's not Deontay Wilder. He's a guy who gets up close and then leans on you and has his full body behind it, right? And it's not quite a hook because it looks too straight to be a hook. So he has to have his weight a certain way to throw it. Now, in my favorites folder here online, I have highlights from both Stevenson and Grovesdick. What I want you to do is to look at the spacing. Stevenson has ring coverage. Stevenson has a great straight left hand. Stevenson's a southpaw. That's the other wrinkle in this fight, right? Southpaws, in my opinion, are more accustomed to facing orthodox stance fighters than orthodox stance fighters are of facing southpaws, right? Fighting a righty for Stevenson is not that big a deal. Right? By contrast, I believe Grosdick is going to have to be on his P's and Q's in terms of his awareness of Stevenson's lateral movement and Stevenson's straight left. So, simply put, I think both men are at risk in this fight. For me, it's simply an odds play. I don't recommend that people put big money on this fight. I don't, because it's a high-risk fight. But this is the high-risk part of the internet. The bet I like here is the long-reigning light heavyweight champion Adonis Stevenson at a plus 140, right? I feel Stevenson's going to be the faster starter. I think as they jockey around for spacing, Grovesdick has more to think about than Stevenson. In other words, Stevenson's a three-point shooter. He can be way outside, see an opening, bang. Right? Grovesdick is the layup guy. So from three-point range, he has to still be thinking about how to get by you to get closer to the rim. Right? I think that's going to give Stevenson a distinct advantage early in this fight. Let's also be serious. Adonis Stevenson has had many championship fights in Canada, right? So the venue's not going to throw him. The magnitude of the moment's not going to throw him. This is just another fight in Stevenson's light heavyweight reign. Now contrast that with a challenger who I know has won some lesser titles. But this is Grovesdick's opportunity at big money, right? So, he's going to be on foreign soil against a charismatic champion, a guy who at times will enter the ring wearing a crown. I mean, literally, wearing a crown, right? To me, if anyone's going to be overwhelmed, by the moment, it's going to be the lesser experienced guy who hasn't held a belt, right? So, let's also be clear, too. Let's say Stevenson gets off to a fast start, but let's say Father Time and Grove Sticks start to catch up to him, right? You get to the later rounds. Guess what? Stevenson just had this fight against Badu Jack. I'll agree, Grovestick is faster than Badu Jack, has faster hand speed and stuff like that. But I will say that Badu Jack is tough from the beginning of a fight to the end of the fight. You remember that last round against James DeGale, right? Badu Jack is tough. That's who Stevenson just got a draw against, right? Stevenson won't be in uncharted waters, if you get late in this fight, and it's a struggle, right? We simply don't know that much about Grosdick. So, in a fight where either guy can win, 
in a coin flip fight. I'm taking the plus 150. The casino has suckered me in here. I'm taking the plus, excuse me, the plus 140 on Adonis Stevenson. I'm surprised this fight is priced in such a way where Stevenson is priced as the underdog in a fight in Canada. I like Stevenson here. Small bet, not a big bet, very high risk. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.